Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Psychic Fellow Love. And today I'm going to be taking a look at Joe and Melissa Gorga's marriage because I just did a bunch of the other housewives and apparently at some point in, um, I guess, like one of the more recent seasons, they were kind of having problems in their marriage because I guess like she wasn't spending enough time at home and Joe wanted more attention and people were thinking that maybe they were going to end up getting a, a divorce and there has been accusations in the past that both have cheated on each other. So we're going to go ahead and take a look at that. If you are new here, my stand broke, so I'm using an iPad stand. There's only two angles that I can set it up on right now, which one of those is my chest and the other one is my face, but either way, I can't get it to move without the whole phone and everything tipping over to record what, you know, showing the cards and everything, but I am a real psychic. I don't need cards. I just use them because when I sit down to record for YouTube, I usually record a lot of videos at once. And so that way I can switch between everybody's energies quicker and then save my own energy. So if a card is important, I will hold it up. So we're gonna just give it another quick shuffle. I prayed over the cards and really shuffled, shuffled them off camera so that we could jump right in. <coughs> Excuse me. So Spirit, please tell me do we need to know about Melissa and Joe Gorga's relationship? Thank you. I also saw online that people were saying like, or it was like speculation that, you know, now that their kids are older, like once they're all out of the house, then, you know, they're going to be one of those marriages that breaks up because all the kids are gone and there's no reason for mom and dad to stay together again. But then other people are like, no, I really feel like this is the marriage that's going to last a lifetime and they don't see them splitting up. So I have not watched the show since I was pregnant with my son and he will be 11 next month. So I don't, I've missed out on all of the drama and everything. I don't really watch a whole lot of TV and when I do, it's usually at night in bed with my kid and it's whatever he wants to watch or is appropriate for him to watch. <laughs> so I miss out on all of these things. So with that said, um, I do have a backup channel and it will be linked in the description box below. Once we reach a thousand subscribers, which is what YouTube requires of us to go live, we will start doing live celebrity readings. And then that way you guys can let me know a lot of the things that I've apparently missed out on in the chat because I didn't know like there was a bunch of stuff going on with like some supposed stolen house with Kevin Kyle Richards. So to even ask about it. So that's why we want to get that one run up so we can start doing lives and then that way you guys can let me know what I don't know so we can ask more questions. And also, I do not accept any requests for celebrity readings on YouTube, but you can join my Patreon to do that. And we also have exclusive lives over there every week where we go over all the weekly hot topics. We talk about the Jakumatati and who's involved in all of the conspiracy theory kinds of things. So if you want to join that, that will be in the description box below. And if you want to book your own personal private reading with me, my website is psychicbellalove.com. That is in the description box below as well along with this month's coupon code, which will get 30% off until the end of the month on any appointment. And the long-standing coupon code for new clients, if it is after November, 2021 that you are booking. So all my info will be in the description box below as well as my Instagram. Alrighty, so it,
they've already had what they perceived was going to be their tower card moment in this relationship. Okay, I mean, obviously, they've gone through a lot between the family drama where, you know, originally Teresa, I guess, had a problem with Melissa. Are they past that or are they still going back and forth with that? Because it feels like I've heard like they were past it and then it reignited again. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> I just feel like those two, like there's always going to be something. So I'm just wondering if I was right about that or not. But, you know, and then obviously Teresa and, and her husband's dramas between their legal issues and their own divorce and then losing both of Joe's parents and all the rumors and everything that goes on in, you know, surrounding them being on TV, the Oh, he cheated, she cheated, that person did this, that person did that, da 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 da. I do get that there has been the interference of other people in their relationship in the past. And this feels like it was something that probably happens like, I want to say really early on in the marriage. And it was Joe that stepped out. I don't get that Melissa ever actually did ever step out on him. And Spirit saying they worked through it, you know, but at that time it did feel like it was this tower card moment. And it feels like it was before the show started and in between like some of the kids, maybe in between the first two older ones and then the baby because... I'm trying to remember. I think like she had just had the baby when she came on the show or he was a baby or something when she was like first on the show. I can't, again, like I said, I haven't watched it in like 11 years, so I don't remember everything, but it does feel like it was around that time frame. So any tower card moment, like they've already overcome that between everything that's happened with them. Um, they're in a good place now. You know, of course, there was like some struggles as they've shifted. But Spirit saying, you know, beyond the cheating thing that happened, whatever, you know, because again, that was very much in the past. And there is a lot of real, true love in, with these people at the core of everything. Um, but what Spirit is saying is, Most of the stuff that they go through is really just the normal ups and downs of marriage, you know? Career things happen that might take you away from the home a little bit more and require more of your attention at times, but then things slow down and then you're able to focus back in on the family again or work things out so that you can find a better way to balance all of the blessings that you're in. The biggest problem that they've gone through other than just, you know, them trying to work out like how they would balance all of the commitments that they have going on and still be able to spend time together as a family. The biggest thing that they've gone through in the most recent past with Spirit saying is more and this was more of an issue than just you're not spending enough time with me. They did have a moment where things weren't going well for them financially, and that was really stressing Joe out. However, he's overcome that. Melissa's bringing in a lot more money. So they've worked through things, and they're in a much better place now, and I do see them being really happy. And, you know, I'll tell you this, the underlying energy here too is, Melissa's extremely happy with her life right now. She feels more in love with her family, her kids, her husband than ever before. And she feels better about herself than she ever has. Like Spirit saying, she feels like on a personal level, I really love the person that I am. I feel so proud of like what I'm accomplishing right now. I'm in a really happy place in my life.
And even though, you know, obviously her and her sister-in-law have their issues, I feel like for the most part, Melissa's learned how to kind of let most of it roll off her back. Like when Teresa does throw shade or whatever, you know, because it's just like, this is how Teresa is. It's not even worth addressing or noting. And she really does pick and choose her battles. Sometimes she still gets to that point where like one little thing will set her off, but that's really because it's like, I ignored 997 other sh things that you said to me before it got to the point where I finally blew my lid. And sometimes, you know, like she does feel that editing makes it seem that she's like way more sensitive and pops off faster than she actually does. Cause it's like, yeah, they left out how Teresa was literally picking at me for three days straight before I finally blew up at her at dinner, but they made it seem like that one comment was what set me off and everything was fine before that. So it, she doesn't really, you know, let it get to her as much as she did in the past, especially like day to day. I mean, obviously when they're filming too, she knows it's obviously like people turn up their reactions and what they, make a big bigger deal out of stuff than they probably would otherwise because it's a tv show <laughs> is there anything else you can tell us going forwards about these two and their future thank you that's good i was really scared that maybe some of the like little whispers and things that i was just seeing you know floating around online were true or not and it's it made me sad because I looked up just, you know, I typed in on YouTube to kind of just see like what was really going on. Cause like I said, I didn't watch the show, so I missed out. And I was watching Wendy Williams talking about it like on a, you know, previous episode of Hot Topics. I think it was earlier in the year. And it just made me sad because, you know, it's like Wendy was kind of for a lot of us almost like an aunt or you know some sort of distant relative just because she was such a big part of our lives or at least a constant in your life you know because I listened to her on the radio and then I watched her on tv and it's not I mean you know it's funny because I said to somebody I was like the funny thing is that until they started putting Wendy show clips on YouTube like if I ever did watch the Wendy Williams show you know that I was unemployed at that point in my life. <laughs> that I was probably sitting there with my little laptop out applying to jobs or like seeing if the union was going to call me back and say, hey, you know, like we found another spot for you when I worked for the county if we'd get laid off. So <laughs> it's just funny, but she was a constant in so many of our lives like i just feel like she was always there throughout my life so it is sad to think she this might be the end of an era for her okay there's somebody on the show who and this is really like, we don't have a storyline for ourselves, you know, kind of situation. They're going to bring up what happens with the past cheating situation. And this is what's funny because Melissa and Joe like never really told anybody when this all happened. It was not like nobody in their families knew. They kept this shit so quiet because they both knew we're gonna probably work this out. And so we don't want everybody like being like, oh, your husband cheated on you and like being in our business. So it, it's coming as this like complete shock of how the F did anybody even find out about this? <laughs> And we really thought that if somebody was going to drag this back up, like it would have already happened. Like they'd prepared themselves in the past. And after about like five seasons of it never coming up, it's like, well, I guess 
you know, we're good. Like that's never coming. You know, we, we were right that we did a good job at keeping that quiet, but it will end up coming up on an upcoming season. And it feels like, I don't know, cause I don't watch the show. So somebody let me know, but it almost feels like there's like this weird cycle going on on that show anyways, that if anybody's partner in them ever cheated that like, that's continually being brought up. So it's like, well, since we exposed this one for doing it, let's talk about the time that Joe Gorga cheated on Melissa too. And it's like, wait, what? Like, why are we being dragged up? Cause you're talking about this other person on the cast affair, you know, like, huh? And how did you even find out about that? Cause they do feel them trying to deny 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 and or but it's the denial without saying it never happened you know what i mean like talking around it and trying to insinuate that's not true but not outright saying that did not happen then some proof comes up and they will end up having to address it on the show but again it's gonna be you know that was so far in the past we've gotten past that we're good I don't even know why you guys are doing this. Also, I remember Wendy saying in the past, Melissa had wanted another baby and then like they ended up deciding not to do that. She might still end up pregnant again. This is coming up in the underlying energy and this would be something that would come as a complete and utter like surprise. Because we have this magician card here and spirit saying to interpret this as something being a huge surprise. And they told me, you know, that this really is about she could possibly end up getting pregnant and really being like, we thought we were too old. We didn't, you know, like. We were not trying for this. We were actively trying not to do this. And like, this is just crazy. So if it's not, then she for sure also, they may have some other kind of a show coming out as well too. I keep seeing there's gonna be something surrounding the real estate part of their business. And it may not be like a super you know, Joanna and Chip Gaines kind of a thing where it becomes this huge blown up thing. But I do feel that, you know, Bravo or one of the networks that's, you know, owned under, I guess, what is it, NBC Universal, that's a sister company to Bravo. I feel them trying to kind of like expand or test out different types of shows and it's like everybody loves joe gorga anyways and then is there like other husbands on the show who also work in construction because i keep feeling like it's gonna be something about them flipping a house or building a house together and it just being this you know like the real house husbands build a house you know like kind of a thing it's actually going to work out and I see people actually really liking it. So it, whoever is trying to, you know, like bring stuff up to, because this is, you know, whoever does bring this to the table, this whole, oh, whatever you guys did in the past situation, it might seem like, oh, you're trying to deflect from something or you're just trying to add to all of the other exposing that's going on. But it's tied to somebody that purposely wants to like fuck with um, Joe and Melissa's marriage and make them look bad and also try to, you know, hurt them. And it's not gonna work though. <laughs> I mean, we're just gonna see them happier than ever and we're gonna see them more than ever is what Spirit is saying. So, I mean, it's, I guess that's what reality TV does to people, right? It turns them into like, let's get you next too and let's drag up the dirt from your past. Like, you know, you've never made a mistake in your life and 
things have never happened to you that you never got had to you know heal from or work past or forgive somebody for but it's what gets the views and what gets them their you know next season on the show and that next paycheck right <laughs> So, but you know, they're good. I don't see any problems here. I just see them all being really happy despite whatever anybody does try to bring up. So, and this is, this was in the past position and talking about somebody purposely bringing things back up from the past that nobody knew that they even knew about in an effort to paint Joe as a bad person and cause harm to his happiness and his marriage. So, anyways, guys, I am going to end that here. Let me know in the comments, which cast member do you think is going to be the one that does this? And do you think Teresa is involved in it? <laughs> and, um, yeah, just answer any of the other questions I asked about this stuff. Because like I said, I don't know who's on the show and who's not. Any of the stuff that I do know is really just from watching either Wendy Williams or, you know, whatever other shows that our content creators talk about um, just what's going on with all the housewife stuff. So anyways, if you wanted to book your own personal and private reading with me, follow my backup channel, my Instagram, or join my Patreon that will all be linked in the description box below. And we do have daily pre-recorded content coming up for all of the rest of November and December. But I also, you know, if something big or major happens, I run to go cover it like I have with the Danny situation and then little baby and sweetie. So you want to make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on anything. And I will see you guys all later. Bye.